Hello there, my name is Dr. Linda Gorman, and I'm a neuroscientist. Yes, neuroscience is a really big word, but really what a neuroscientist is, is a person that knows a lot about the brain. And I'm here today to talk to you about how you can keep your brain healthy, help it to feel good. It's really easy and anybody can do it. I love to talk about brain health because it's spectacular. And spectacular means great. When your brain is spectacular, you're a happy and healthy person. Today's story is about physical health, which is the P in spectacular. Physical health means that you're keeping your brain healthy because you're taking care of your body. Being physical means you move your body, you eat to give your body energy, and you sleep because sleeping does a lot to take care of your body. When you take care of your body by moving it and giving it the energy that it needs and the sleep that it needs, that also makes your brain healthy. So let's see how you can keep your brain healthy. In this story, we're going to talk about exercise. When people think about exercise and what it does, they usually think, okay, exercise is going to help my body. People exercise to get stronger and stay fit. And that's true. Exercise definitely does help your body. So exercise is good for your physical health. What people do not realize is that exercise is also good for your brain. And it helps your brain with your social, your physical, your emotional, and your cognitive health. So exercise is really spectacular. Question for you. What do you think about when I say the word exercise? Okay, exercise is running and jumping and stretching. The word exercise can make you think of lots of different things. When I think of the word exercise, I think about sweat. One thing that I really do not like is sweat. But did you know that exercise does not mean you have to sweat? Exercise can just be about moving our bodies, going for a walk, playing hide and seek, throwing a ball and climbing on the jungle gym at the park are all things that move your body. These are also things that do not necessarily make you sweat. Exercise is all about making the muscles in your body work. When your muscles work, it means they contract and they relax. When they contract, they tighten or they get, they get smaller. And when they relax, they loosen or they get longer. Your muscles are attached to the bones in your body. So when they contract and relax, they make your bones move. You have bones all over your body. So when you move your muscles, you're also making your bones move and that makes your body move. You have lots of muscles in your body and using those muscles is important to keep your body healthy. Because we are taught that keeping our bodies healthy is important, lots of people work out or exercise for physical health. People think that they have to sweat in order to get exercise they need to stay healthy. People also think they need to have muscles like the Incredible Hulk in order to be physically healthy. But you know what? You don't have to sweat or have muscles like the Incredible Hulk in order to be healthy. While it's okay to work out hard, if that's what you like to do, you really just need to use your muscles, making them contract and relax in order to stay healthy. So anything that you do that moves your body will count as exercise. Yoga, where you're stretching and holding different poses, that's exercising. Going for your walks with family, that's exercising. Playing any kind of a game like hopscotch or jumping rope, playing dodgeball, anything that you do that you're moving, that's exercising. Exercise is also about moving your body to do normal everyday activities. 
You need to move your body to do the behaviors you need to do to stay alive. Like eating. You need to move to get the food and you need to move when you make the food. In order to eat the food, you need to walk to get the food and then pick up the food and put it in your mouth. Once you eat the food, there's muscles inside your body that also move. So there's, when you eat, you're using muscles. You need your mouth to chew the food and move the food into your throat when you swallow the food. Muscles in your throat and your belly then take care of moving the food so you can get energy from the food and then get rid of the wastes. It's much better for you to move your body around to get the food rather than just sitting down and asking for it. So offer to help in the kitchen. That will also help your social and emotional health because you'll be doing something to help yourself and you'll be helping others too. Good for you, good for them. Exercise is also about moving your body in the world you live in. Moving around helps you learn about the world. You see, you hear, and you feel different things when you're moving around. This lets you learn what you need to do to live in your world. When you get up in the morning, you start to move. You need to make your bed, you need to wash your face, and then you need to get dressed. You need to move around to do these things. Moving your body means you're moving your muscles, and that's good for your physical health. So moving your body just to do the things that you need to do in the morning is good for your physical health. If it's a school day, then you need to go to school. You have learned that to go to school, you either need to walk to the bus stop and then get on the bus, or you need to get into a car and go to school, or you may live close enough that you can walk to school. You need to move around to do all of these things. Moving your body means your muscles are working and that's good for your physical health. So exercising does not just mean working out so that you look like the Incredible Hulk. Exercising just means moving your body. You do lots of things every day when you're using your muscles to make your body move. Helping around the house, cleaning up your toys, helping clean up the yard, going to school, walking up and down stairs at school. These are things that get your body moving. These are also things that help other people too, so that's good. Moving your body, even to do things you do every day, means your muscles are working, and that is good for your physical health. Now, there are some activities that you do where you don't do much moving around. Playing video games or watching TV, you don't really work your muscles. These are the kinds of activities that are fun, but you need to do them in moderation because these activities are not necessarily helping your physical health. Now, we can see how using your muscles to move your body is good for your physical health, but how is it good for your brain? Well, we know that in order for your muscles to work, that your brain talks to the muscles. Your muscles need information from the brain. The brain then sends this information to your spinal cord, which if you feel your back, there's bones there and inside of those bones, that's your spinal cord. And the spinal cord then says signals to your muscles in order to make them contract and relax. And this makes your body move. Then, the moving parts of your body send signals back to the brain. These signals go to the parts of your brain that control the muscles. And these signals make those parts of the brain healthy. So moving your muscles does make your brain healthy. Let's say you're practicing soccer and you're trying to kick a soccer ball into the goal. 
you look at the goal, you move your foot to face the goal, and then kick the ball, but you miss. You can try again, only this time you turn your foot a little to the left and you pull your leg back farther so you can kick the ball harder. Score! As you were doing all that, you were using lots of different parts of your brain. You had to think about where the goal was and what you needed to do to kick the ball into the net. This means you had to use the cognitive parts of your brain, the parts of your brain that help you to think. You were at first a bit mad that you missed putting the ball in the goal, but then you were happy when you got the ball in the net. This means you had to use the emotional parts of your brain. When you figured out how to get the ball into the goal, you could not wait to tell your friends and family about it. This means that you were using the social parts of your brain. The exercise that you were doing to kick the soccer ball into the net had your brain working a lot. Your brain likes to be working, and the signals that it's getting, not only from the physical parts of your brain, but also from the cognitive, emotional, and social parts, make your brain healthy. Who would have thought that doing something fun, like kicking a soccer ball into the goal, could be so good for your brain health? So exercise does not have to be about working so hard that you sweat or that you get muscles that look like the Incredible Hulk. Exercise is just about moving your body. Your body is made of lots of muscles and your muscles like to work. And when your muscles work, your body moves. Making your muscles work to move your body is good for your physical health. In order for your muscles to make your body move, you need your brain to talk to your muscles. Because it's important to make the right kinds of movements, your brain has to think about how to make your muscles move. When you want to kick a soccer ball into the net, you need to move your foot to face the goal, and then you need to pull your leg back far enough so when you kick the ball, it will reach the net. If you do a movement correctly, meaning the ball goes into the goal, then you'll feel good about yourself and your brain will be happy. Making your body move is not just good for the parts of the brain that talk to your muscles. Making your body move is also good for the parts of the brain that make you happy, that make you think, and that make you feel good about yourself. This means that exercise is spectacular. It's good for your social, your physical, your emotional, and your cognitive health. Thank you for letting me talk to you about how exercise is good for your body and your brain. I've enjoyed spending time with you talking about the brain, and I hope that you've had some fun and have learned something about your brain. Remember, exercise is all about moving your body. Exercise does not mean that you need to sweat or that you need to make your muscles look like the Incredible Hulk. Exercise means moving your body, and that means using your muscles and using lots of different parts of your brain. So exercise definitely makes your brain healthy, and that's spectacular. So thank you so much for all your help. And remember, brain health is not just spectacular, it's fun too. As always, we have to thank all of the people at Johns Hopkins University, especially Dr. Ron Daniels, for helping us to bring this Making Neuroscience Fun, Brain Health, It's Spectacular program to you.